Hello everyone. Uh, welcome to another programming tutorial. Uh, today I will be talking about C++ interface. And as a matter of fact, C++ has no built-in concepts of interfaces. And you will need to implement an abstract class which has pure virtual functions. By definition, a pure virtual function requires the derived class to override it with its own implementation. And an abstract class is a class with at least one pure specifier, which uh, has uh, set equal to zero. <clears throat> because C++ allows multiple in inheritance, you will need to create another class to use this abstract class as an interface. Lesson for today, I will demonstrate to you how to create an interface in C++. Okay, so let's jump into Eclipse uh, CDT and demonstrate to you how to create C++ interface. So let's begin by declaring include IO stream for standard input output. Declare uh, string and then declare using namespace standard. Now to create the in interface I'm gonna create a base class which is basically an abstract um, or we call it interface in C++. So um, I'm gonna call this a class monitor. Okay. I'm gonna create a couple of uh, virtual function. So the first one is virtual string get dimension. Okay, so this allows us to get the dimension of our monitor. Then the second one is to set resolution. So I'm going to do virtual void set resolution int height int width okay and to make this into a pure virtual function we set this equal to zero okay in our uh, protected space uh, we say int height and width okay so that's basically our base class uh, or abstract class we're going to use this for interface then uh, we're going to create a couple of derived class so in this case uh, our derived class is I'm going to call Dell and I'm going to uh, inherit uh, monitor okay so in my Dell class, I will implement um, the get dimension and set resolution uh, function. So <clears throat> say void set resolution int height int width. So in this case, we, we want to set this width, I'm sorry, this height equal to height disk width equal to width okay then we're going to go ahead and create um, a function to retrieve the dimension so uh, which we already declare as virtual right here so uh, string get dimension okay and I'm going to do string string dim equal to standard to string and we're going to convert the uh, height to a string by using the to string uh, function in C++ then I'm going to say uh, x plus standard to string this width okay and we're going to do a return of string dim okay so that's that's our um, derived class now I'll go ahead and create another one 
uh, another required class. I'm gonna call this class Samsung, and I'm gonna implement the interface monitor or use the abstract monitor class, and I'll go ahead and create a copy the same block as in the uh, Dell derived class. Just copy and paste. Now in my main, uh, I'll go ahead and uh, uh, create an object from this. So I'm going to go Dell um, monitor, right? And I'm going to say Dell monitor set resolution to 1920 by 780 okay that's my resolution for this monitor and let me double check again oops so yeah this is supposed to be Delmon sorry misspelled it okay so I set the re resolution then I, I want to know what um, the uh, resolution is so I can do C out Delmon and I'm gonna call the function get dimension right and this will return back to me the actual resolution and I'll go ahead and declare Samsung instance so I'm gonna call Sam okay Sam uh, actually Sam monitor so Sam M O N so Sam M O N set the resolution to be uh, 1024 by 768 so let's say then I want to print out uh, the actual res uh, dimension so I, I say Sam mon get dimension Okay, and end line. So that's it. So let's compile the program. And it just compiles fine. Okay, now let's go to our terminal and, uh, and see um, what the output looks like. So execute this, and as you can see, um, let's look back at the um, uh, our main method, uh, and we set the resolution to 1920 by 780, and we call Dell Mon get dimension right, and it prints back 1920 by 780. And similar to the Samsung monitor, uh, we set the resolu resolution to be 1024 by 768. We call the get dimension um, function and it returns back 1024 by 768. So uh, in, in both uh, derived classes, we actually implement the uh, pure function. And that would serve as well uh, as an interface okay so th now th this is a quick tutorial and how you can use uh, abstract class in C++ to create um, an interface so if you like this tutorial please subscribe to my channel uh, and thank you very much for uh, watching see you next time